In this game, the winners have the best defences. They might get out of trouble using supreme athletic feats, or they'll use extraordinary camouflage and lethal poison. Some stick to mesmerizing herding behavior, and others use cooperation and intelligence to survive. Many have vicious horns and hooves. From the frog to the hyena, from the zebra to the deer, these spectacular survivors use their finely honed defenses every day in their struggle to survive. The animals winning with the best defenses have learned how to conquer their ecological niche. Over countless generations, they have learned who their enemies are and how to defend themselves against them. Some need to protect themselves against the king of the beasts on the plains of Africa. Others need to fight against enemies almost too small for the human eye to see. And many need to avoid the lightning strike of an ambush. If their defense is flawless, then they will continue their fight to survive. This is one of the most animal-rich places on Earth. Millions of antelope, zebra, giraffe, rhino and elephant graze on the great grassy plains of Africa, which means there are also vast numbers of predators. There might be lots of prey, but there's ruthless competition to catch and keep it. The big cats get all the publicity, but there's one predator who's evolved a way to compete with them, the hyena. Hyenas might look like dogs, but they're more closely related to cats. They've been around over 10 million years. Hyenas are bone crushers. They are one of the few animals in the world who can eat large bones. This young female can smell something exciting. Her highly tuned sense of smell will take her straight to the target. It's a wildebeest carcass, probably the leftovers from a lion hunt. There's not much meat left, but for the hyena, that's no problem. She will eat everything, skin, horns and bones. Her massive jaws can crush with the power of a vice. And her unique large teeth will break bones with hardly any effort. This animal gains nutrition from food others leave behind. But that's not her only survival skill. Our hyena is part of a large extended family group called a clan. It is run by a hierarchy of dominant females. They mark and defend their territory. Hyena paste contains colonies of bacteria with a unique odor. Our female can recognize her territory through this familiar smell. Hyena clans are terrifyingly huge, up to 90 individuals. So when this lot launches an attack, there's no defense. The clan have brought down their prey. They will run and run until their prey is exhausted before they tear it apart. Lions and hyenas share the same taste in meat. Lions can be more than three times the size of a hyena. But when it comes to stealing the lion's food, the hyenas show no fear. A lion cannot fend off a huge clan of hyenas. Hyenas are some of the fiercest carnivores in Africa, with jaws and teeth to match. With defenses like this, they will win their daily battle to survive.
Hidden deep among the swamps, rivers and lakes of the world is a little creature with a lot of character. He is excellent at defending himself, but he's not armed with massive teeth and claws. He's hard to see, but his sound echoes across our waterways. He spends most of his life in water, but breathes air. And he can't fly or sprint, but when it comes to jumping, he's a champion. The frog. Frogs are amphibians. Most frogs lay their eggs in water, and their young are born with gills. They come as small as a little fingernail, and as big as a man's foot. These distinctive animals have relatives all over the world, from the Arctic to the tropics. There are nearly 4,800 different species of frogs, but they're soft and small, so they're on the menu for many predators. They have a secret weapon. It lies under their body, spring-loaded and ready for action. Their legs. Frog legs are perfectly evolved for spectacular feats. Their massive leg muscles make up a sixth of their total body weight. This Australian rocket frog is among the most impressive jumpers. A tree snake is keen to make a meal out of him. The frog kicks into action. The rocket frog can leap over two meters in one jump. That's 50 times his body size. Many of his leg and foot bones have become elongated for maximum springing power. His forelimb bones have been fused to cope with the impact of landing. Frogs have lungs, but they have a special trick for staying hidden beneath the surface of the river. They can extract oxygen from the water by breathing through their skin. But it doesn't always keep them safe from predators. A red-bellied black snake managed to strike in time. But the meal has one last line of defense. The frog's slippery skin makes him difficult to hold on to. Many frogs escape the jaws of death in this way, but not this time. Despite his athletic prowess, the frog was unable to thwart being eaten by this predator. Despite our ever-growing cities, the forests of the Northern Hemisphere are home to one of the largest herbivores on Earth. They are shy, but they will fight to protect their families. They range in size from a dainty 30 kilos to a magnificent 400 and all the males are powerfully armed. Deer. These grazing animals have evolved long, strong legs, so they beat the field in running, jumping and swimming. But the attribute that makes these animals strong defenders is on their heads. Antlers. For most deer, only the males possess these impressive weapons. They shed and regrow them every year. Even the massive antlers of the moose must be replaced. They can be over two meters across, but they can grow back in less than five months. Female moose select their mate based on the size of his antlers. Deep in the woods of North and South America, lives a deer that's become a master of invisibility. The fawns are spotted to match the dappled spring sunshine. 
The white-tailed deer, although they can see and hear well, they rely mainly on their acute sense of smell. And of course, their impressive set of antlers. Like most deer, the females do not have antlers. They rely on the dominant male to protect them from attack. And their brilliant art of camouflage. This fawn is distressed. He's lost his mother, but she's not far away and they're soon reunited. He will stay with his parent until he's a year old. His sister will stay with her mother for two years. White-tailed deer eat a huge range of berries, shoots and vegetables. They can even manage toxic mushrooms and poison ivy. It's rutting season for the elk. Stags must compete for a mate. The antlers on elks can be over a meter long. So these fights for supremacy can get pretty serious. The stags with the biggest antlers and greatest strength will win. And for good reason. They will be needed later. The does have given birth. Fawns are well protected from predators by their camouflage. But if that fails, the dominant stag steps in. The elk herd continues to thrive thanks to its well-armed defender. The grassy plains of Africa are a place of contrasts, where the equatorial sun creates bright light and dark shade. The hunters and the hunted make use of these patterns to hide. Almost every animal out here has evolved a coat for camouflage. These adaptations allow big cats to stalk and small animals to stay out of sight. One animal has developed this camouflage to a more complex level. His color palette is not the fawns and golden shades of most animals here. The zebra. Zebras are part of the horse family, but unlike horses and donkeys, they've never been truly domesticated. This herd is mostly made up of many harems one stallion and about six mares with their foals. The foals are dependent on their mothers for a year. Zebra stripes are not merely camouflage. They serve at least three other defense functions. Predators usually select a single animal before moving in for the kill. This lion is a risk. When a herd moves around, the black and white lines create a kind of motion dazzle. It's difficult to pick out an individual. The threat is avoided. The powerful sun is reflected by the white stripes, but absorbed by the black ones. This contrast creates air currents along the zebra's body, keeping her cool. The most bizarre function of the stripes is to protect against insect bites. These grasslands are buzzing with horseflies and setsy flies. But for some reason, fewer flies attack zebras with narrower stripes. But the stripes cannot protect the zebra from crocodiles. The zebras need to cross the river to follow the rains and find fresh grass. They've been spotted. The zebras have no choice. It's certain death by starvation or the risk of swimming with the crocs.
The croc has lost this time. Most of the herd lives to graze another season. The stronger zebras will go on to produce more animals with startling stripes. The world of small creatures is seething with thousands of battles to stay alive. It's a world full of animals with many legs and many eyes. A place inhabited by carnivores with giant fangs and lethal venom. And there are always larger animals searching and waiting in the hope of finding a meal. One of these small creatures sends so much fear into us, there's a phobia named after them. And they're so successful, we've found nearly 50,000 species and are still counting. The spider. Spiders are arachnids. They all have eight legs, an external skeleton, and most have venomous fangs. This trapdoor spider would be a juicy meal for a bird or lizard, but he defends himself by hiding underground. It's also the perfect place for catching lunch. It could be any unsuspecting passerby, a beetle, a cricket, or a grasshopper. The spider lays out trip wires along the ground. He then hides and waits. He lightly touches the ends of the trip wires from inside his hole. If a passing bug trips on the wires, the spider will be alerted. A cricket has just had a meal of forest leaves. The spider knows something's out there. The cricket moves closer. The trip wires are tight and almost invisible. The cricket is now right on top of the trap door, completely unaware of the danger below. But the spider doesn't strike. The cricket moves away unharmed. By some miracle, he has avoided all of the trip wires. The spider fails this time, but he's ready and waiting for the next unsuspecting victim. The most dangerous time for a predator is the fight to catch and kill its prey. Injuries caused by a struggling victim can be fatal. Spiders have mastered the art of defending themselves against injury in many mysterious ways. A flower, a petal moves, it's a crab spider. Like the trapdoor spider, she uses ambush to catch her prey. A lacewing butterfly is looking for nectar. The crab spider is perfectly camouflaged. The butterfly sucks the sweet nectar in a last moment of bliss. The spider strikes. She will wait until the butterfly succumbs to her venom before she moves in for her meal. Some spiders will do more than just wait for their meal. This bola spider is casting out a lure. She's laced the lure with a pheromone that's irresistible to moths. The spider can swing her bolas for up to 15 minutes. A minor moth approaches. He's done for. The spider further entangles the moth in silk and stores him nearby for mealtime. But spiders are just as vulnerable to spider attack as other insects. A mother redback protects her egg sac. She doesn't know there's an intruder in the nursery, a Porsche spider lying in wait. Within days, hundreds of spiderlings emerge. Despite their watchful mother, the Porsche spider wades in for a feast of newborn redbacks. Many young will be eaten just as they are born. But enough will survive. The spider's chances of survival 
are a game of numbers, skill and excellent defences. The arms race of the animal world has led to defences of almost infinite variety. From the vice-like jaws of the hyena, to the gunshot speed of the frog, from the strong as steel silk of the spider, to the hypnotic patterns of the zebra, and the awesome antlers of the deer. Defences are the keys to living another day in the wild.